Do you know where the word pyramid comes from? It's from Old Greek language, pyro, and midas. Where, pyro, means fire, and midas, means in the middle, like energy at the center. In the king's chamber of the Kepp's pyramid, you see burned and bursted, wall stones, cause of long-lasting heat generation. We think of a pyramid that got a square bottom as well as four triangles adjacent side with 45 degree angle to the hypotenuse square base in this case. At the top we've got this four triangles perpendicular 90 degree angle to themselves. My theory. Think of a pyramid which is built very exact and the atom structure of the material the pyramid is made of is very uniform, like pure crystal, sand or stone. Now raise your brain and think like a watcher of the fourth dimension who is looking at this solid pyramid. He could see every atom and could watch through the pyramid like it would be transparent. Now think that the pyramid contains many interrelated planes of atoms. Perhaps you already register now an interesting phenomenon. The crossing lines of the atom planes form a spiral which center is at the center of the pyramid. This phenomenon we do not find at any other standard geometric form, except in trapezohedron. Could a trapezohedron have a double pyramid effect? Back to the pyramid. If we would send a particle into a hollow space in the center of the pyramid and let the inner walls act as mirrors, the particle would fly in a very rough spiral form. That's because of the opposition between the triangles and the square. If this is happening with any particle, like a proton or electron, and on any atom layer inside the pyramid this would cause a very high electromagnetic or radioactive spiral which of course produces heat, an electromagnetic field and perhaps strange space curvatures or other radiation effects. Let's add spiral forces according to the real which would be inside the pyramid. Also 30,000 randomly spawned particles inside the pyramid's volume. Now let us start the physics simulation. The particles act like two galaxies which collide over billions of years. In the end they all moved exactly to the center. No particle is deleted, they're all at one point. If we would zoom in, we infinitely would see them acting like galaxies. Isn't that interesting? As sharper the pyramid gets, as stronger will be the spiral's turbulences below the pyramid's center. Maybe there is another strange quantum physics mirroring effect, in connection to next dimensions, which is bending space and causing gravitational changes that pull particles into the center. If you have any sensible ideas, I would appreciate, if you write them as a comment. Thank you for your attention. P.S. Have you ever watched the American dollar note? Perhaps we should ask the government for the top stones and put them back onto the pyramids in Giza. Then we'll see. Or what does this mean?